Hi guys, getting ready to do a reading. We're going to see what the energy is. Today is the first day of summer. So for some of you, it's the first day of winter. Oh, passion just went flying out to see that. All right, what is going on? How is this person feeling about you? Are they thinking about you? We have a clarity. Oh, someone is stressed out though. Divine timing. I feel like something has taken a while. Is it fantasy. Daydreaming about you. Up, all up in their emotions with the storm warning card. I'm feeling overwhelmed. What is going on with this person? Sorry, I had to itch my eye. Okay, overwhelmed. And one more. Overwhelmed by the fact that you two of you are soulmates with romantic feelings. Maybe they're having to hold back. Maybe they don't know how you feel. Maybe it's a work situation. Let's see, passion flying out. Clarity. Someone is stressing out the fantasy. Overwhelmed. Okay, let's see what shows up in the tarot. All right, overall energy. We have the Ace of Coins. Something new here. Knight of Wands. Three of Coins. Nine of Coins. The Three of Cups. Okay, one thing I'm getting is that you and this person... No, it might not be on the same page or like let's say it's like a friends with benefits situation but they're starting to have feelings or it's because you have five the cards here are like fun they admire you this is more like something stable clarity through the stress or stressed out they're realizing that there's something more here between the two of you They're overwhelmed because maybe they don't know what to do. Should they say something? Should they hold back? I'm getting the name Steve. And that just popped in my head. Steve. It could be an S name just in general. They're showing me a... Um, I don't know if someone had to go to... Was it traffic school recently? Or someone got a ticket or got an offender bender or something? I'm, I'm seeing a chalkboard. I don't know if people even use chalkboards anymore. But so it could be a school, school teacher, something maybe significant. Okay. Ace of coin manifesting to be a fire sign five of swords fool foolish energy some of you i don't know it's like i feel like someone may fantasize about you maybe you are a teacher or you have a teacher or something or i mean this could even be like in a yoga studio or something but if not it's i feel like somebody really admires you they stare at you a lot. They see you as being very attractive. They want to know more about you. When they get around you, they could act foolish. They could be giddy. But it kind of feels like the energy of like catching feelings they weren't planning to. They don't know what to do now. Um, I'm also getting someone may graduate or has just has graduated. Yeah, I mean, a message. Swords. I feel like somebody wants to invite you over. I feel like there also could be some sort of like graduation, graduation ceremony you're going to, whether it's your or someone else's. Um, five of Swords here. Chariot. Planning a trip. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting someone wants to invite you to something. I'm getting someone wants to talk to you. They want to tell you how they're feeling, but they just don't know how to say it or do it. I feel like the Ace of Coin could be like, there could be a party here where like, um, like a new job or promotion or um, an anniversary. It doesn't have to be yours. It could be any. It could be anyone. You may be going. They may want to invite you to it. Something like that is what I'm kind of getting here. Someone's having a hard time playing it cool in front of you. Um, they get very um, nervous. What is this moon energy? Yeah, the nine of cups. They see you as a soulmate. So this person, there's passion between the two of you. They're very attracted to you. And that's what that's all they thought it was. But now they have clarity and they're stressing about this. Maybe time is running out. Maybe someone got a new job. Maybe someone is moving, going to college, something like that, changing something. And they're feeling very overwhelmed, realizing that it's more than just, you know, a fling or just lust. It's there's love here. There's something deeper. They feel like it feels like they want to tell you. They don't know how. 
Also, I feel like this is someone who definitely steps into their masculine energy a lot. They um, usually are someone who they take control. They they just make it kind of flustered around you because that's um, like not the norm for them though. Let me see what is this full energy a new beginning, yeah, because this right here is like new work and if it's not you it could be someone else maybe someone is making some sort of significant change I feel like someone might also be a surgeon or you know maybe going down that route or something like that with this knife here for some reason but yeah because like this is like lust um, passion. Then somehow this person has figured out the two of you are soulmates somehow or something triggered them. Okay, so like how, what happened? Was there a conversation you had or maybe their, their soul woke up to a past life? Something triggered them? What is it that we need to know here? Longing. Integrity. Okay, that can mean a lot of things. But true love. This may be why they're so stressed out. Under the deck is different pages. So you may be on totally different paths and your paths crossed, you know, and, and now they're parting again. That may be causing them this anxiety and stress. Also, integrity can mean like maybe it is a third party. Maybe um, it just isn't lining up with what you had planned. There could be a lot of things. That's what it looks like. It looks like this person is very stressed out about, about that, overwhelmed, not knowing what to do. Should they say something? Should they just forget about it because maybe it'll pass? Um, maybe it's not worth it. So, because someone may be getting a job that's like very far away, they're traveling. You may not see one another anymore, so it's a big deal. But eight of coins, messages. Yeah, it could be someone who's on the other side. Yeah, there's something here about moving, major ending, moving justice. It's like I'm getting TikTok. It's time they gotta say something before time runs out. Someone is making some sort of major life change, some sort of major move, and it's now or never. Something needs to be said. Ace of Swords. Because they're giving us an example like this person is going into a new career, or you are. I mean, it could be you going into something new and leaving the past behind. It's a new phase of your life or their life. So... What is this person feeling right now? Show me what they're feeling right now. They're stuck on you. So I get their feeling, like the card said, overwhelmed and their thoughts just keep racing. They keep getting the same thought over and over. What should they do? Should they say something? How's this gonna go? Um, what are you gonna think about them? I'm getting the like, name Harper. An H name, that's a weird name to come through, but Harper. All right. I'm doing more. They're scared. Yeah. So it says, the card says, will you just speak your truth? But I feel like this person needs to speak their truth. They're scared to do it. Why are they so scared? What are they scared about? They're trying to listen to their intuition. Oh, maybe it makes them look very weak or vulnerable. They're just not, maybe they're in a position that's over you. Uh, maybe there's consequences that could be very devastating, the tower energy. Whoa, oh my goodness. So maybe they could lose a job, um, get fired, maybe something like that. So if they were to do it, it may not turn out that great for them or for you or something. Okay, show me one more for the Six of Wands. Ten of Cups. Someone could already be in a relationship. And so they may lose that relationship or again, integrity, maybe they're married or something like that. They don't um, want to step out, but they feel like they need to. So maybe they want to get married Listen to your intuition, victory, ten of cups. This could be something long term. This may be something that was made known on the last full moon. Tomorrow is the next full moon. Okay, let me go here to this deck really quick. I'm getting singing lessons or dancing lessons. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like someone would be taking lessons. They could also be someone is musically inclined. I also get somebody who would be really good at um organizing. I don't know if that's coming as well. 
that's coming through as well right now as I'm shuffling. Organizing, okay, joy. Hummingbird spirit, number 22. I believe the 22nd is this Saturday because today's the 20th, yeah. So hummingbird spirit, joy, number 22. You may be very happy to hear this, to find this out. Maybe this person doesn't know how you're gonna react or respond. I'm also getting someone's name as like Jewel or Diamond or Ruby, or maybe you have a name like a flower or something. Feather. Okay. Some of you may be spending more time outdoors or doing more walking or coming up doing more walking. If you do that, if you do spend more time outdoors, Spirit's gonna send you more messages is what they're saying. They're gonna give you more um, downloads, specific messages uh, for you. I guess being outdoors, you you have a clear head, you're not online, you're not looking at your phone. So be open to messages. So especially for someone who like you are planning to walk more, or you've been walking more, you've been outdoors more. Okay. Um, I kind of want to see what this person wants to say to you. I see someone who's eating like a chicken sandwich. I don't know why they're showing me that. Or maybe someone is... I don't know why they show me things sometimes. If it's significant, if it has meaning to the person who is being channeled or if that's what you're doing right now. Someone says they see life differently now. Someone may be woke. They may have woken up. Okay. That may be what's happened here. Sometimes when we wake up and all of a sudden, like all this memories comes, memories of past lives come flooding back, or we realize like you know, we're souls. This is you know, past life soulmates, things like that. It can be very overwhelming, and sometimes it can be stressful. I've known people who woke and wish they didn't. To be honest, but um, I think this is a good thing. So they're scared to speak their truth. They may be afraid that you also will see them as a player if they if they step out or if they say this while they're in a relationship. But I feel like, again, they need to know. Maybe some of you, they're just so curious about who you are and why you have such, why you've triggered them. Why you've triggered this awakening for them is kind of what I'm getting here as well. Crystal. I don't know if I already said that name. Sometimes I don't remember what I channel, but okay. That may be someone's name. I think I said that. Diamond, Crystal. Maybe. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm going to see what else comes through as far as channeling. I'm gonna extend this one. I'll put the link below. Have a great week, you guys.